Hi friends, I'm Jamila, and welcome to the Venus Experiment channel. So today is Friday, November 8th. The sun is in Scorpio and the moon is in seeking Sagittarius. And this morning, the moon lines up with Mercury and that's already lined up with Jupiter. So we have this little pack of Sagittarius energy, moon, Mercury, and Jupiter. This little stellium of fire happening today. So we are looking for the truth, for the answers. We are looking for expansion. We are setting goals. We are looking at the future. We are shooting our Sagittarius arrows at our goals and looking for the truth, looking for God. And we want to talk about it with Mercury there. And then... At 12.42 p.m. Pacific time, the moon squares Neptune. So we'll feel that energy all day of this pack of Sagittarius that wants that truth that is lit up and on fire and ready to go to charge and talk about it. And then Neptune over here is squaring it. It's rubbing up against it. It's pushing up against that truth seeking saying, what is real? Maybe making us feel a little bit confused or a little bit floaty. And so let's bring those two energies together that are squaring each other. So today feels like a very spiritual day, religious, spiritual, whatever it is, we are going there. Neptune is the we are all one God and it's asking the Sagittarius to get bigger, to be more compassionate, to, to feel that the dream world, to jump into the dream world. So we feel that weight of Neptune today asking us to jump into the water. And then the downside with that is kind of wanting to escape with a square aspect. We want to escape. We want to get away. Uh, but let's get instead, we'll get inside. Let's go into our source, into our truth, into finding our truth and floating with it a bit in the unknown. Neptune is the unknown. It's that watery illusion dream world. And the dream world is pushing on our truth seeking right now that is very mental, very fiery, very action oriented and in the world. And Neptune saying, Mm, are you sure about that? So let's just go with that. Let's just flow with that kind of unknowing, kind of the wanderer, the traveler, the Sagittarius searcher is in the water today. So we're going down under the water with Sag. So it's kind of like a submarine with a giant light on the front of it. So we're getting in the submarine today. We're going into the water, into the unknown, into the water, watery depths, and we're lighting it up with Sag. So let's float a little bit. Float a little bit with that truth-seeking energy today. And Venus squares Mars today. Relationships relationships are harmonious. Our internal divine masculine and divine feminine are harmoniously aligned. They're coming together with the same element, the same purpose of air, of communication. So we want to talk in our relationships. We want to talk, talk, talk. We want to talk it all out. And Mercury and Sag wants to talk about it too. So Let's talk with our relationships. Let's talk with ourself, with our relationship to our own electric and magnetic charges. Another way to look at masculine and feminine, because that is confusing. We think of body parts, and we're not talking about body parts. We are talking about the electric charge of Mars that goes and does and is putting energy out and then the magnetic charge of Venus, of feminine, of going in and down and being receptive. So these electric and magnetic charges are harmonious today within ourselves and in our relationships. And the more we allow for communication and for freedom in our relationships, 
and friendship, socializing, flying free with this air, Venus and Mars. It's such a great time to talk and find beautiful harmony in your relationships and we get to talk it all out. We get clarity in this air energy and Mars is going to go into Pisces soon. So let's enjoy this harmony that Venus and Mars are creating today. I hope you have beautiful relationships today and talk, talk, talk all those feelings out. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.